Japanese officials are working to contain the radiation threat following the reactor explosions at Japan's Fukushima nuclear power plant. Now, it's the worst nuclear accident in 25 years since Chernobyl. But is it wrong to focus on the nuclear issue amid the epic tragedy of this once in a thousand years natural disaster? Conservative columnist Ann Coulter says even Chernobyl actually wasn't that bad. What do you mean by that? Amy? Well, it was bad. It wasn't as bad as was predicted. Um, they were predicting tens of thousands of deaths. In the end, it was about 4,000. And of course, the point with Chernobyl is you can't compare anything in the Soviet Union to the free right. world. Right. Um, this, this reactor in Chernobyl had no containment at all. The Soviet Union obviously did not care about the lives of its citizens, thus the Ukrainian famine. I mean, you couldn't farm if you were going, well, look at what happened in the Soviet Union. All those Ukrainians were starved to death. Um, and similarly, I mean, they were just technologically primitives. They, they would go to the World's Fair and looked at, at flush toilets like it was, oh, a nuclear reactor. No, they couldn't, they couldn't make jello in the Soviet Union. So you cannot compare a Soviet-made nuclear power plant to anything in the free world. And I think the most important point is what saves lives is wealth, is a prosperous capitalist economy, and thus, for example, compare Haiti to Japan. Right. Japan is sitting, had a worse earthquake, they're sitting right Much on worse. top of a By fault line. about a line. thousand times worse in terms of the Richter scale. And we're talking about a few thousand deaths, we don't know exactly how many, and I'm not discounting them, but 300,000 right, But back to the nuclear, I mean, Americans nuclear. care a lot about the safety of their nuclear plants. One plant in San Clemente, California is right in a fault line, it's right next to the water, and it's only capable of defending itself against a 7.8 earthquake. So if, God forbid, we have a 9 or anything above 7.8, we could have problems with our reactor. True, but even that isn't comparable to what's happening in Japan. Japan is a tiny, skinny little country. There's limits to where they can put their nuclear power plants. Mm -hmm. Yes, um, San Clemente is close to a fault line. The issue in Japan is they don't have the electricity to send in the water to cool it down. There are a million other sources there, uh, of, of electricity for the San, San Clemente plant. and and. And moreover, the larger point I'd like to make is nuclear power is the perfect example of how humans cannot evaluate risk properly. This has been written up millions of times by millions of people. There are about seven, seven variables that humans lead humans to over, um, overreact to certain types of risk. Man-made risk scares them more than natural risk. Look at Japan. You've had, what, up to perhaps 10,000 people die from something that was entirely natural. They drowned. All right. Well, let me, let me give you another point. But they nuclear power, the, whereas no one has you. died from that yet. Let me give you the libertarian argument about nuclear power, which is that, like ethanol, it requires huge government subsidies to stay in existence. The uh, government has to subsidize these, these incredible insurance and reinsurance rates that come online. Uh, if the government was to back out of doing that subsidization, the nuclear industry would die. The same would not happen with gas or coal or I oil. I contest that. When you look at all of the costs that are imposed by the government allowing endless, pointless environmental lawsuits by the government spending $18 billion for Yucca Mountain and then o Obama's energy secretary ste steps in in the biggest news of 2009, which no one covered, and says, oh, nope, sorry, we're not going to store nuclear um, refuse in Yucca Mountain. We've just spent $18 million and, oh, by the way, that means we can't have nuclear power plants because there's no place to store the waste in the middle of a mountain. It's as safe as it could be, but oh, Senator Reid is deferring to a majority of his illiterate, easily frightened soccer mom voters who can't evaluate risk right. properly. Despite all the rationality that is coming out of Ann Coulter right now, do you think we will ultimately act rationally or irrationally based on what happened in Japan? It depends. Well, you, need, you need statesmen to lead a country in something like this and not be taken a poll of morons and and unfortunately people d everything about nuclear power has um, hits the variables of what frightened why, why are people more afraid of flying on an airplane than driving in a car because they're in control of the car something being out of their control frightens them more. it's hysteria same thing with wasp stings versus sharks. People fear something that's a large event as opposed to many small events more. Every single aspect of nuclear power hits the variable that makes people overestimate the risk. you have a new risk. book, by the way. <laughs> Is this your new book? <laughs> no, but it might be my column this week. Okay. And Coulter, great to see you. Thank you for being here. Our new studio, the new time I like and it. everything. Appreciate it. Thank Come you. Come back and see us again.